Hey, what's up guys? It's Gabe with NerdTech, and I just want to show you a quick video on how we're using uh, SynthFlow to make outbound calls in one of my client accounts. Uh, we are on my contact card right here, so I'm not showing any uh, information you shouldn't see. This is just my demo contact, and we're going to do a test call here, and I just want to show you uh, how we're going to get this information over here in Notes Live. This is all the call information, so we're going to, whenever we do test calls, we can click on uh, down here on automation, click add, and we're gonna search for my workflow. I have the SynthFlow outbound sales call. We don't need to select the date and time because we're gonna trigger it to go now. And then we're gonna click add. I'm gonna get a phone a call on my phone call. I'm gonna try to hold this up to the speaker so you guys can hear the call. Hey, it's Debbie with small refrigerated trailers. Touching base again, how are you? I'm good, Debbie. What's up? I wanted to check if you're still interested in small refrigerated trailers. We have an exciting new prototype that's just come out, and I think you might find it really interesting. Are you still in the market for one? Yeah, I might be interested. I don't have time to talk right now, though. I'm, uh, I'm in a rush. No worries. How about we schedule a quick call with our manager at a time that works for you? Yeah, I appreciate when that, would but I'll just give you guys a call back. I just don't have time to talk right now. Thanks anyways. Thanks for letting me know. If you need All right, so wanted to demo a call on how actually a lot of these calls end up going so you can see how that comes across. We're going to refresh my page here. And we're going to have tags added to this contact. It's going to make a note. And then I have some custom fields that are going to get updated. So just want to show you how cool this is. We've been having a lot of success. So here we have the new updated call. We can see uh, the date timestamp down here. We have the call recording. If we click on this, it opens in a new tab. You can listen to the recording. So very, very convenient. It labeled it as a follow-up, which is perfect. Um, I have a prompt on the back end that basically says if they're interested but do not book a time for a callback, that is a follow-up. If they're interested and do tell us a day and time to call them back, then that counts as a booked appointment. So that's the differentiator. We get a uh, very short call summary here. We have the entire transcript to listen to. So you have everything you need to review this very quickly. And then if I scroll down over here on the left, we can see it added a tag that we did an AI call. Um, it needs verified, which this puts it in a smart list in my uh, contact smart list so that I can uh, check all my calls and verify them. I would just check this off and that's basically saying I did verify the call and we'll take it out of the list. I have an AI call answered tag. So it called it, but then we also know that it answered and then we have a follow up tag. So we get a lot of that similar information over here. And then up here, I have an entire section dedicated to my AI calls. This is a collapsible, expandable section. We have the call summary, same as over here in notes. We have the call outcome, the recording, date, time, the duration, call attempts, pickups. This is my demo contact, so you can see I've done a lot of test calls in this particular account. It gives us the status is completed, the end call reason is human goodbye, and the last call uh, attempt date right there, last call answered date. And if I would have told it the best day and time to call me back, it would have actually inputted that information there, which is really, really cool. Uh, as soon as this call is completed on booked appointments and follow-ups, uh, the user in this particular account is going to get an email notification so they can immediately review the call and not miss any important calls. So uh, I just really wanted to show you how this worked. We've been having a lot of success. It's really, really cool technology and paired with Go High Level on the contacts makes it very powerful. Uh, the reason why I do copy the information in the notes and the same information basically over here, well, notes is very easy to look at quickly. If we come up here at the top, uh, we well, it's not showing here, but if I was, if I was in a contact list, I'd have an arrow here where we, where we could uh, click through the contacts and I could click through the contact and click on notes and see the information very quickly without having to scroll down. But the benefit of having it in its own fields is some some people want to export this data to a Google Sheets and uh, manipulate it, do things to it, maybe create charts, graphs, uh, you know, uh, sum their KPIs so that they 
can aggregate the data and really understand what's happening. Uh, so having this in its separate fields allows us to be able to send that to a Google Sheets and map it to the correct cells uh, in rows that they want that to go to. So uh, there's a lot of things you can do with this AI calling when you have it paired with Go High Level like this. This is Synthflow AI, and I have cheaper accounts than you can get if you go directly with Synthflow. So reach out if you're interested. Uh, I can help you get this all set up. And there's so many use cases in multiple different business industries where this could help you out on outbound or inbound calls. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and uh, have a great week.